Uh, we're here with the, the Global Boys and we're focusing on Patrick this time, Patrick Reichel. Uh, congratulations on your, your recent success with uh, the Yaz Cows. Uh, <laughs> when did you first get into football? What, what started your football career off? Like from the beginning? Um, yeah, from the beginning. I started with four years old and played like all of my life in Berlin. I w I'm born in Berlin, so just one year I played in a uh, professional cup in and club in Cottbus, mm. so then I just moved to the Philippines for 23 then and then that's it, <laughs> not too much to say. And uh, though those professional clubs in, in Germany, the, you said the, the energy Cottbus and I think your last club was Neustralite, yeah, is that right? Yeah, uh, forgive my pronunciation. I'm English. We don't learn foreign languages very well. Um, but uh, that was a fourth tier in Germany, so it's the same as Danny Wolf, if I understand right. Um, how was uh, German football, and then coming to here? What really convinced you to join the UFL, to join and stay and live in the Philippines? Actually, it's like uh, not mo not lot of people know the story. It's a longer story with Ascats. I already started Ascats in June 2011. Um, Coach Weiss saw me playing in Germany, so he really was, he wanted me to play, uh, to be part of the squad against Sri Lanka, World Cup qualifiers. So I went to the training camp and um, first day I got ACL Ooh. and MCL. At um, the same time? Yeah, yeah the same action. Oh, that's not nice. It was the first day and so then I was like nine months out of playing, but Coach Weiss and the management was like continuing texting me and they gave they gave me a good feeling okay. they gave me a good feeling that they still are still interested to 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 bring me mm -hmm. to the Oscars so then when coach Weiss asked me in, I think December 11 it was the first time coach Weiss asked me to move to the Philippines mm -hmm. but it was like like just too early with my knee yeah. so I said to him it's not possible to may maybe call me just months a few months later then he called me again and was like really Spontaneous, and he said, "Look, that's the deal. I just talked with Boss Palami, and you can play global. I fixed the contract, everything, but it would be like in three days you have to fly." Wow. It's like whoa, and I just signed with Neustrelitz, yeah. and then but it's big opportunity, and yeah. with having this with a coach behind your back, who really you, you, you really mm. gave me the feeling that he wants me to be part. So I just decided to move here. And uh, eventually you made your first appearance for the Ascals, I think it was against Cambodia. Yeah. Um, but eventually it, it, didn't, uh, it didn't count as, a, as your, your debut, I guess, because the Cambodians played too many substitutions. Yeah, yeah it's not Anything you'd like to say yeah. to the Cambodians <laughs> <laughs> for that one? No, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll open we're it up really to... Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> Cambodia. <laughs> but we'll open it up to everyone. Um, as, as fellow Ascals, uh, how has it been getting to know Patrick? What are his good and bad qualities on and off the pitch? You know him better than, than anyone. Um, really. okay. Well, I met him in Chicago. Um, and I guess the first time I've seen him play was Peace Cup. Um, I think he's really cheeky on the ball. Um, really goes by players, really smooth. And uh, has a lot of pace down the wing. And he also has a knack for the goal and can finish. Um, I think he's a really big part of the future of the Askels. And, um, you know, like like all of us, we're looking forward to uh, being the core eventually of the Askels. But um, watching Patrick play is, uh, is fun. Salamat. <laughs> <laughs> Write that off my phone. <laughs> you just text it to you just now. This is what you said. <laughs> And I mean, uh, maybe off the pitch, uh, we've we've seen a lot about uh, Patrick on the pitch with his Peace Cup performances. And his uh, goals also. Mm. He had a, he had a good running with some goals in the Peace Cup, and uh, and I also want to mention in the game against uh, Kuwait, he had a pretty nice nutmeg panna. So <laughs> you guys want to re replay that? Um, but off the field, I mean, he's he's really funny, great guy. I think in a, I met him in Chicago, and <laughs> this is. I was a roommate with him and Dennis, and uh, and I think we just kind of hit it off like we've been friends for a really long time. So it was funny being around the Germans a lot, uh, and it's, he's just a really funny guy. I mean, we get we get the whole "Are you guys brothers?" I think we get that <laughs> every single game, um, or even when we're out. And uh, so I, I mean, uh, hanging out with all these guys, it you know, feels like we're our brothers. So I, 
I really like hanging out with him, of course. And uh, and occasionally he comes by and stays on the couch or on the bed. Wherever he wants to stay. <laughs> Those bed sneaks all the time. Mm. Yeah, even on the main room. He's over sometimes. That's just saying. I really like yeah. like the place. And ref, how nice, how nice pool. Huh? Nice maid's room. Nice maid's room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's bad. Okay. <laughs> and uh, for you, ref, um, how is uh, the, the squad being with with Patrick? And how do you know? Uh, um, Patrick, uh, as is what I said for the, uh, the first episode, um, this has been his. Uh, he has been struggling because of his injury. So he's just coming back. So the Peace Cup was his highlight that he's already, he's back. And then for the consistency that he, he has the past um, friendly matches, amazing. Uh, he's just had to continue uh, what he's doing and improve more. So outside the pitch, he's, he's uh, you know, if you don't know him very well, you get offended. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the truth, man. Yeah, if you don't know this guy, if you haven't been with him, mm. you really get offended. So maybe, because um, he's a German. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a, a Filipino. I know, uh, right? Filipino. Yeah, I have a German ex-girlfriend, so I know. Oh, uh, <laughs> whoa. Sorry, oh, yeah. my wife. <laughs> 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 so anyway, about Patrick, um, I mean, he has a poten he has the one of the potentials who can be when it is time it to be in the to be the senior of the Ascals, He will lead those uh, players, and he will he's a he's a good motivator at the same time. So that's like uh, I haven't been with them because they're global, but <laughs> <laughs> but in the Ascals, he's nice to be with. Um, he's okay as long as you don't. Stay with him and Wolfie in their room in the hotel. <laughs> I mean, go on, elaborate, mean. please. Elaborate. Um, nice room. Yeah. The best room. The best, best room, room in every camp. German room. German room. Yeah. Even the German coach said, <laughs> "Look at this. This what? It's all in here. We get it clean. We clean it every day. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway." Um, Patrick has, has been a, a revelation to the team. So we it's will see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will, we will see. <laughs> we will sm see more of him and, uh, in the play, in the Suzuki Cup. Yeah, Patrick, you you do owe a lot of money to a lot of people now. <laughs> it seems. Yeah, it's a big payment. <laughs> so. Um, Looking a bit more off the, off the script, off the pitch, what are you guys, uh, we'll throw it open with questions, feel free to ask uh, Patrick anything anything you want there. Um, Ref, what's your uh, questions for Patrick? Um, why does Carly call you Tito? Hey, actually I really, really don't know, it just started and Carly is the guy you have like, for everyone, or you're just looking for everyone nicknames, like for me it's like it's Borat. Don't, the, don't, <laughs> don't say the Jeffrey, Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, no, <name>. I mean, <laughs> You can bleep it out. <laughs> no, 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 it's not no, no, no. a bad yeah, word. Yeah. Yeah. It's just really like I started to call him like queer in one training, and then I was like, okay, he was like calling me Tito, but for me it was like a one day nickname. <laughs> so you just keep continuing <laughs> to say uh, Tito, oh, Tito, right. and then it just stayed by Tito. Huh? I thought it was like from like the Jackson 5 or something. <laughs> Tito? No, no, no. I don't know. I was like. All right, so uh, that's the Tito from the Spanish word from Carl, yeah. No. <laughs> I thought it means something else. No, 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 it's just like Carly really loves nicknames for give people. All right. Okay, well, I'll ask the next question. <laughs> We're on live television online. <laughs> so <laughs> so if, if you want us to... Uh, to tweet or reach out to a certain girl, actress in the Philippines, singer, who would that girl be? Your dream girl in the Philippines, right? Because we're gonna tweet it to her. Model. Model. Who would you? Who would you marry? <laughs> <laughs> my dream girl. Dream girl in the Philippines. All of them. Episode I mean, of Snug My Avoid yeah. Philippines. Say <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know by person, oh, but from God. looking, <laughs> I have to say it's like 
Just me and Curtis is really, really nice. Jasmine Curtis? Yes, really nice. So Ann Curtis's younger sister? Yes. Jasmine Curtis, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> or Ann Curtis, if you're watching this. Tell your sister. Also interested. <laughs> Single, 24 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Any Curtis will do, really. <laughs> Just <talk so. laughs> Um, I guess my question is, if you want to announce to the cameras that he's actually moving to uh, the fort with us. So if you want to just like talk about where you're gonna be living, you know, to the camera and to the girls and to come over, and just maybe if you're near the fort, huh? Where the fort? We live in the fort hall now. All it's like the global area now, global FC area. Yeah. So we live next to a Big Circle. The uh, the vicinity. Can I go circle? If you're interested, just text us. Maybe you can take dinner together. <laughs> <laughs> like from 18 to 26 years old. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. Also, also, also That's older. That's not the limit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no limit. There's uh, no limit. Plus, no. Hey, be careful. There's no limit. Just to mention the two bedrooms of us. <laughs> no. Yeah, just careful on the no limit thing, you might get into a bit of a more Wayne Rooney situation. Yeah, yeah that's you why you don't want to go there. No, 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 no. no. I'm a really <laughs> actually, I'm a really quiet and calm guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that gave the, got the biggest laugh of uh, the evening. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Um, but thanks very much, and um, for more information on uh, Patrick Reichelt, you can follow his Twitter handle, which will be on the screen. And uh, for more information on Global, how the teams go, UFL, and everything we've talked about uh, tonight, uh, you can follow us at, at FTW Sports. Yeah.